Science with, with Alyssa and Lauren. Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing a remover experiment. We have already tested this, it works. We have the formula and everything. Here's our bottle we're going to be put it in, putting it in. It has like a little shaker up here, but we made the gradient on the outside. Yeah. So we have our pens, extra pen. Well, they're pencils, but... Wait, hold on. Can I have the watermelon pen? Scissors. Yeah. Scissors. We have markers and our ex our experiments. Microscope, I think. Our ingredients and are... Tape. Our ingredients are warm vanilla sugar fragrance mist from Bath & Body Works. It is a perfume. It's a fragrance mist. It smells Perfume. like warm vanilla. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, spray on antiperspirant from Dove. Dry spray. And um, lastly, no rinse makeup remover cleanser from Dior. So, we will be mixing this in here. Just a simple cup. We'll mix it with this. Yeah, I'll leave things in there. Yeah. So, let's get started. Yeah. Okay, so, we are going, so, as we just said, we have our cup and mixing. We have our ingredients. Three ingredients, not that much. Coincidence, they're both blue. <laughs> and light blue. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, this is called light blue, but it looks like a purplish, lightish blue. Look, it says light blue. Mm -hmm. If it would focus on you. Yeah, it's not focusing, but it says light blue, so. Yeah. Okay, let's get started. Okay. So, first thing we want to add is this, because when you spray it, it'll splash everything up. So, you want to add this first, so it Do doesn't splash as well. last? No. We have that last. Oh. So, first thing you add. <sighs> Just so you know, it smells terrible, so hold your breath when you spray it. So that's what it looks like so far. Okay, well, um... Okay, that is good. Oh, I can still so th this, since it's spray, it has a lot of air pressure built up. It says shake well before use. Which yeah, we did not do. Yes, we did. Oh. I went like the hat. <laughs> I didn't notice. Okay, so it has little like it fizzes a lot since the air pressure is built up and it's spraying out. So that's what like kind of makes the chemical reaction that makes it start dissolving the stain. Science. So. Next ingredient is this. And it says remover on it, so. It's a makeup remover. Yeah. So Not, have... It doesn't say remover anywhere on here. Oh. Um. <laughs> I mess up a lot. But I am pretty smart. Yes, you are very smart. I know. Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, that should be good. So here's it now. The, all the white stuff is what we just added. This stuff is very oily. Very oily. So it dries super, so, super, super soft. And so in our science journal of this recipe, it says that this, our mixture, it's not done yet, but this mixture um, softens tacky glue. Plus, it cleans carpet, and it makes, like, hard table wood like softer this. and smoother. Once you, like, right when, after you've put it on, rubbed it in. Like this stuff. Um, you might, however, you do want to wipe it off once you've rubbed it in and stuff. And then it's, it's cleaner. It's so, yeah, it's. And it's soft, except it, like, the softness kind of pretty good, soft. so. And it's pretty shiny. 
Yeah. Okay, um, so this one, the one that Lauren adds. Oh, yes. Can we get an instant replay real quick? Just Bryce, make sure you get in there. Yeah, thanks. And this will be your base liquid a little bit. It more. smells really good. However, it's kind of oily. Okay. Just not as oily as the so, dry anti perspirant. It's not oily at all. Oh. Okay, so that's what it looks like before we mix it. Oh, it's um, chunky. By the way, Gross. if you're using it on carpet, we have not tried out on wet stains. We've tried out on certain dry stains. So just be careful with We that. tried it on an old, like, super runny putty stain that was green, and... It was green. Now died. you can barely see it, yeah. so... And before, it was really bold. Yeah, like, as bold as... Your shirt. Your shirt's green. True. It was, like, as bold as this pink. It was there. And you could tell. Yeah, however, we have not tried this on pea stain. So if you have a pea stain by an animal, don't use this. We have not tried it. But we're going to today. We are? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yay. Our okay, so mix it up until excited. it's mostly a liquid. It's okay if there's a couple chug, like, not chugs. That's kind of gross. Um, oh, God. Focus. Blocks. There we go. Blobs. <laughs> Because of this stuff, it's more of like a lotion, so it also moisturizes skin. If you have like Sharpie, this will probably get it off. Let's test it. Maybe. Did it get off your Sharpie? Yeah, it did. Um, but then again, her Sharpie was kind of faded, so if it's really bold, it might take a couple of tries. Stuff. Yeah. Okay. So here's our container. I just gotta pop off this. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Do you want me to get it? Ooh, it's way down in there. Okay. Well, now it's clean. Just wipe it off on your shirt. <laughs> I would do no such thing. <laughs> okay, so this is definitely not enough to fill the bottle, but we're just doing this for the video. So, but if you want more, um, we should, so like start out with a lot of this stuff. Um, but actually, no, you need more of this because yeah. this is the base. So, and then, and the more chunky it is, the more of this you want to use. We'll like tell you all of the pros and cons of this. So right now, since I don't have a funnel and this is pretty small, this is pretty big, uh, and this is kind of bendable. I'm just going to bend it into more of, like, a fittable shape. But if you have a funnel strand. and you cannot bend your cup or whatever you have it in, get a funnel. Yeah. Because. Okay, that is, like, about to here, this this gradient layer. Because it goes purple, silver, gold, which is beautiful, by the way. You can barely see the gold, but it's on there. Gold. Oh, by the way, none of this is tested science, but it's, well, it's tested. It's just not professional, but it does work. Yeah. And it is safe, usually. <laughs> no, it's safe. It's safe. Just don't get it near your eyes. Don't eat it. Don't drink it. All the basic science rules. Yeah. Okay, so this is on. I'm going to put the cap on. And now let's take this to a stain on the carpet. Okay. You're coming to. Be right back. Okay, we're back. Washed our carpet. hands. Yes, we are at the carpet. Here is a stain from our dog. She's a German Shepherd. She gets super excited and pees. Oh so, my. yeah, a lot. So, we're gonna try that out on this. Oh, when I opened it, it sounded like when you like open a soda. That's cool. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's see how well this does on a pea stain. So first you'll see it kind of soak in. Mm -hmm. And then you'll see the chunks stay at the top. Once the chunks have started to stay at the top, you want to start mixing. Just 
going to start scrubbing that. And then, once you've done it, you want to kind of dab this and get pat it. it to get out excess. Mm -hmm. And boom, that stain is gone. Yeah. Now, time to get the rest of it. <laughs> so you're going to want to get a good amount on place. We don't have enough, so we're just going to do that spot. Yeah. So then wait till it starts to like dissolve into it. Then dance it up. And if you look on the rub it and then mm -hmm. if you look on the paper towel, continue. Mm -hmm. So if you look on the paper towel, you can see a little bit of what was on that carpet and then what we put into there. And it's so cool how now it's gone. And if it isn't, you can't really even see it. Yep. Which and also this stuff can kind of clean it. It works pretty well. Uh -huh. So our name for our special, special cleaner is, uh, what's it called? <laughs> gradient Gone. Yes, because it's in a gradient bottle, and it's beautiful. And I will disagree with you if you say otherwise, but it's beautiful. Oh, yeah, hang on. I found a better, like, spot to show that the stain did come up. Yeah. And it's pretty magical. Yeah. So, so I think I'm going to get the rest of my carpet. <laughs> So if you ever have a tough stain that you want to get out, you might want to try this. Don't try it on a wet stain. We don't really know how that works out. But or we... you can, but don't do it something on something that you need to wear in a couple minutes or something like that. Yeah. Do it on do something, it on something that wouldn't when... matter. Exactly. Like mm -hmm. you could stain maybe an old pillowcase and then mm -hmm. try to use this, but only with parents' permission. Mm -hmm. And so if we try out, if we try this out on a wet stain, we'll tell you how it goes in the descri description below or in our next video. Yeah, probably in the next video. Mm -hmm. By the way, we'll be making videos on Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and every other weekend. Once every other weekend. Yeah. So. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Bye-bye.